Afternoon, everybody. Wanted to take a quick second just to uh, share my favorite short cuff glove. Um, I've been through a good couple pairs of uh, short cuff gloves, trying to figure, find one that was uh, up to par for what I needed. I ride a Yamaha R1, and if, uh, if you're ever to come off, it's nice to have a palm slider. It's also nice to have this wrist protection right here on the side, and of course the hard knuckle protection, the finger bridge. Uh, you got your paddings on the outside tips of the fingers and then also up here you got your padding as well up here you also got your little tunnel system to help you with flexing the hand make, making a fist not that you need to make a fist all the way but you know wrapping around the handlebars um, these gloves have probably got about I'd say about 7500 miles on them and uh, they've really held up well and the one thing on my R1 I use uh, kind of the, the diamond gridded uh, hand grips I use the motion pros and then sometimes uh, I'm drawing blank right now but anyways that's the that's the pattern of hand grip I like the best because it grips the best and uh, usually they're pretty rough on gloves because of that but as you can see it, these gloves hold up really good I'll put the glove on just to show you give it a little bit And this, like I said, it's about 7,500 miles. And that's in Florida. And that's with uh, upper 90 degree summer days, uh, frequent thunderstorms. You'll be out riding, it'll be beautiful. And then all of a sudden it's gray and it's storming. So I'd say they're holding up really well. And uh, once you get these gloves broke in all the way, very comfortable. They're very comfortable. Now, at first, when you first get them, especially with anything kind of in the race category of Alpine Star, they fit really tight, um, but the one thing that I've found is that they do break in and they stretch in. Uh, so if you get your gloves and you realize, oh man, these are kind of tight, just give it a minute. I mean, unless they're just so tight that you're just killing your hand. But uh, other than that, just give it a minute, work with it, and then uh, you'll see that it'll conform to your hand and end up uh, being a perfect fit. Um, I've enjoyed and liked these gloves so much that I ended up just purchasing a second pair just for when these do bite the dust. I don't know when that'll be, but I got trusty backups for when that happens. So I'm good to go. But uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to share this glove with you because I've been through, like I said, quite a bit of uh, short cuff gloves trying to find the perfect one. And uh, so far, this is it. This is the one I found, at least for sport bike riding. Uh, I know some guys riding them, using these for supermoto as well and love them to death. Uh, now one glove I do want to try, I haven't had the chance to try it yet, but uh, I will be getting it soon, is it's uh, the 5, I believe it's the SF1, which is also uh, a lot like this glove, it has the outside wrist protection. Now the one thing that the 5 glove actually has above this one, which surprised me, is it is actually Kevlar lined on the inside. The GPX is not, and it's just the you know, regular, regular lining which is fine but uh so that definitely impressed me with the five uh short cuff glove that they've got um now i have a pair of the stunt uh five gloves i also need to do uh the short cuts i need to do a review on those those are really good gloves as well the only thing is they do not have the wrist protection so it is a true short cuff glove but it does give you a palm slider so that's always a plus that's one thing i look for in a motorcycle glove because me personally if the glove does not have a palm slider it's not for me. I don't purchase it. If it doesn't have a palm slider, I'm not interested. But uh, that's because I ride sport bikes. Now, if I was uh, supermoto or something to where your speeds weren't quite so high, then it probably wouldn't be such a big deal. I'd still kind of be on the on the fence about it. But uh, for the category of bike that I ride, it doesn't have a palm slider. It's not going on my hand. Um, so, like I said, I have a bunch of new gear that came in I need to do reviews on. I, got, I just got a new I, Icon Armada helmet that came in. Um, a camera system for my bike. It's a dual camera front and rear with a 3-inch LCD screen on it. I just got that installed. And I need to do a review on that. I only ended up using one of the cameras. But, uh, anyways, I'll get to that whenever I do that review. But, yeah, guys, um, I believe this glove is actually... I don't know how much longer Alpine Star is going to be making it, and that's hence the reason why I bought another pair, just to make sure that uh, I've got a pair for backup. So if you're in the market for a protective short cuff glove, 
and supermoto, sport bike, whatever, give them a try. Um, one thing that I found, originally these gloves were like $129 um, because of the, I, I find them a lot on closeout. You can get these gloves, if you search, you can get them for 60 70 bucks, brand new. Uh, so I suggest doing a little searching whenever you're going to purchase. Don't just jump on the one place and uh, go with it because a lot of times you'll, you'll realize you could have gotten a lot better of a deal. So, uh, yeah, definitely, guys, if you're in the market for a short cuff protective glove, give the Alpine Star GPX a try. Uh, and it's also, it's all leather. The whole chassis is leather. It's all goat leather. But as you know, goat leather is very abrasion resistant. And it's, uh, it holds up well. So, uh, full chassis of goat. Hope this helps, guys. If you got any other questions, uh, just leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer. Um, also, like I said, I've got a lot more reviews coming up, so I need to get those done. Um, those stunt, those five gloves I'm going to do, the helmet, I got a helmet, a jacket, a bunch of stuff coming up, guys. And then a few more pairs of, uh, like two more pairs of gauntlet gloves. Or is it three? Not two. And uh, one more pair of short cuff gloves to redo. So a bunch of stuff coming up, and I got new stuff coming in all the time. So uh, y'all subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And uh, leave me a comment if there's some new glove that came out that I don't know about that y'all guys know about. Leave me a comment because I'd love to research and look at it and give it a try if I, if I think it's any good. And uh, do a review on it. So, uh, yeah, I'm open to suggestions, guys. I'm always looking for the next new best glove out there, <laughs> per se. But, uh, oh, one thing uh, about this glove is this closure system right here on the wrist. Now, the one thing that I found that were, uh, you know, I don't know if I were to come off with that because it, 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 it breaks loose pretty easy. So that would be my only con with the glove is that I don't like how easy that comes loose because, you know, if you come down and you hit hard enough, it's just going to peel it right back. But that's my only uh, downfall to the glove is I'm not crazy about that cuff right there. Not that they could have done anything different, but maybe just made it a little stronger Velcro or... Something. I don't know. But anyways, guys, give them a try. If you're looking for a protect short cuff glove, you'll be happy with these. Um, all right, guys, till next time. Bye.